Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 17 full tutorial series for absolute beginners as well as expert developers joining us from previous versions of Angular. This is part 36 of the series. Today we are going to learn about impure pipe. We are continuing to learn about pipes and I have covered pure pipes. I have covered the difference between pure pipe versus impure pipe. So I thought it's a good opportunity for us to also learn and implement a custom impure pipe. By default all pipes are pure pipes which means only they will be rendered when there is data changed actually and not on every uh, it will not be triggered on every change detection basically. Let's go ahead, learn about impure pipe and implement how to write our custom impure pipe. Before we get started, please do like, comment, share, subscribe to my videos. If you like my work, consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash tutorials. Also, if you need any tech support or help or training at your job, please do let me know at surya.aradhya at gmail.com. So following is the playlist we have created so far, an exclusive, uh, beautiful playlist, uh, all of which is free of cost, of course, on YouTube. This is part 36. Today we are learning about impure pipe. An impure pipe is a pipe that executes on every change detection cycle, regardless of whether the data changes or not. Whereas by default, all pipes are pure, which means they change only when data is modified or changed. Impure pipes can impact performance negatively because it will be re-rendered on every change detection cycle. Marking as impure to mark an impure pipe set the pure property to false in the pipe decorator. Let's go ahead and right now uh, do a hands-on build our custom uh, impure pipe with that way you can learn better. Let's get started. Alright, so I'm in my Angular project and uh, let's create a quick route for us and then we can get started with. So this is the project folder. We are creating a crew management system. We are yet to start the full fledged project because we are still learning. But these are all the important pieces for us to put together a project. So I'm going to generate a component and I'm going to call it um, filter user filter users right uh, and let's go ahead and a component is generated you can see here um, it says filter users now let's go ahead in the app routes I'm going to throw in a new route and let's say impure uh, example component I'm mapping filter users component all right so now let's go ahead and start the server ng sir so far so good our local host is up and you hit it and go to impure example and you can see filter user works that means the component is mapped now let's go ahead and go to that particular filter users component in this now we are going to generate a custom pipe okay and we are going to use it so let's go ahead and what I'll do is I'll close this server here and here we'll write ng generate pipe and I'm going to say impure example so what we just did is we created a brand new pipe which is impure pipe example right? now here first thing we'll do is mark it as that it is pure as false so this is a code you get automatically I am extending it by saying it's a is it a pure pipe I'm saying no it's not it's a false that means it's not pure pipe now let's go ahead and modify the list first but before that let's go to our newly created component and import impure example pipe I have exp imported that into the newly created component and inside this component what we'll do 
is let's have a list of users and we are going to say it's an array uh, it ends make it an array and give the values so, so we are whatever you want to give further uh, you can add there and I'm also going to have uh, one more string which will be a search query string that when users start searching we should be able to show it in the HTML I'm just going to have a simple div and let's have a label and say enter username and I'm going to bind it with an input and say type text and then I'm going to give an ID say search alright and I'm going to use the ng model that we have covered earlier but I will also cover it as part of the forms module as we progress along for now let's just stick to this I've covered this as part of two-way data binding if you remember but I'll again cover this when we start forms so here I will do a now you can do a let you can do a ng4 uh, any syntax is fine so I'll be writing a mix of it because I want you to know how to read existing code as well all right so now let's do this and oh or uh, what was it users so here let's make it users here make it user and we can say impure example that means we are passing it with an impure example pipe and we are passing a search term which is a param to this right as simple as that and in the inside the list we'll use double curly brace and type user all right so here we have an input so we need forms module so module and we have the list that we are running against and this is good so far so good let's run all right so we have the um, label that has come up um, the input type and this is there let's complete our impure pipe uh, work so let's go down find the impure pipe here now we are saying that we are going to send a list of users which is of you can put string or I'm putting any array basically I am also going to pass a search term to this which is nothing but a string and that's about uh, all this method would need because we are passing only two parameters one is users and one is search term and in this we are going to return and do some checks we are going to say if not users or if not search term we should return right or else what we can do is we can say search term is equal to search term dot to lower case and then we are going to map in users dot filter that means all I'm doing is checking that user and if it matches with any of this particular to lower case and then I will check for includes now all I'm doing is basic check uh, whether any of this user matches um, with the search term that the user passed as simple as that right so take a look first we'll do a basic check whether users is available and search term is if not available we'll return it if it is available we are taking the search term making it to lower case then doing it simple it's an array so I'm running a filter method so that I'm checking users value should include anything that's passed from search term right let's go ahead and try this out 
obviously it's not working so let's see what's happening can't ng bind since it's not a known property okay and that is because it's a independent component so we need to get in common module all right okay so now we have it here so see now as I type right so to add more data um, some, so now you see SO is here um, um, ARK so some matching values I'm trying to add so that way you can see it better all right so now let's see so if I type S it is showing all the things and filtering on every key up, down right key up basically which means this is making use of the impure pipe and every single time we type something it would show the results right now see it will start shortlisting every time we do something so what basically it means is that impure pipe will be triggered on every data change or not right that's why it is called an impure pipe and this is a classic example of filtering where on every key up or down any activity we do it will be re-rendered every single time I hope now it's clear do pause the video where I'm making code changes type it with me that's the only way to learn it in the next episode I'll continue writing some more custom pipes for you this is an example that we just did which is of a custom pipe um, where we are kind of you know filtering the users results so this is an example of it I'll do a couple of more custom pipes for you so you are totally comfortable with the concept of creating your own pipes based on your applications requirements I hope you're enjoying this series I hope you're loving it if you like my work and tutorials, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arttutorials. Thank you so much for joining. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.